even though we removed um, this the specific route, so for example, right, I'm going to go ahead and open this register in a new route, um, I'm gonna new tab, and then I'm going to log in. And yes, it's gone from the taskbar, but if you look, I can still access it, right? I'll just hit refresh. See, I can still access it, right? Or I could even go to the login route. It's still viewable, even though I'm logged in. Um, so what we want to do now is block those routes from being accessible once you're logged in, right? Sort of restricting it. And this is all going to be done in the routes file. So go into public, app, routes. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down route by route and attach a new variable to the routes that I want to restrict, right? So the home page, anyone can go there. I don't care. Um, same with about. I don't care who goes there. Register. I want people to go there only if they are not logged in. So what you can do is log comma and then you can name your variable whatever you want so I'll say um, um, I'll name it authenticated false All right so this is saying they cannot be authenticated um, login same thing authenticated false I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna use it a few times okay um, and then log out Obviously, true. You have to be authenticated in order to log out, of course. Um, the user's profile, same thing. Authenticated, true. Um, and then for Facebook, doesn't matter. Um, well, I guess we could set this to false because you won't need it um, after you've logged in. So we can go ahead and do that. Just do that for all of these. Okay. So now that we've designated each route, what we're going to do, if you go into your controllers, into main controller, remember we created this to check the status every time a route um, changes, right? So we're basically going to do that same thing. So you can actually just copy it. What we'll do is we'll paste it somewhere at the bottom. Okay. Okay, and then so scrolling up to the top, um, we're going to use something called run. Um, and the easiest way to implement that is first assign a variable to this, and we'll call it app. Um, and the reason for doing that is because you can actually now go down to the bottom here and you can say app.run. Okay, without that variable, um, I, I believe there's another way to do it, but this is just the easiest way for me. So we're going to pass in um, brackets um, because we're going to have an array of different things that we want to do. Then we're going to take this and we're going to actually pass it in here, right? And so then what you want to do is include a function. Um, and inside the function is where we're going to execute everything. And then you have to pass it again here in the function, right? And so we'll just do the same thing. We'll do root scope dot on say route change start function. And then uh, the rest of this we're not going to need because um, we're going to kind of go our own direction now. Um, so there's three that you can pass in here. You can do um, event next and current okay and so we're gonna log to the console first the event the um the current route that it's on right and so the way you do that is just type in next two dollar sign symbols then route okay so go ahead and hit save and then refresh your page make sure you have the console open and you'll notice it returns the entire um, route as an object now um, with a bunch of things in it. See, here's our template URL. And so here's the one we created, authenticated true. Okay, so now we can play with that. We can say um, that authenticated. Then we can hit refresh. 
true. You must be authenticated on the home page. Now let's go somewhere else. Let's say register. And now it shows false. And then if you go to the home page, it'll say undefined because remember we didn't attach anything to the home route. So it's not defined in that route. Okay. So now that we've grabbed it, um, we can do a few things, right? So what we can do is uh, basically implement an if statement that says if authentic authenticated is true, meaning it's required, um, then we'll prevent the user from going to that page if they're not logged in, right? So if you recall, the way we determine a way uh, the user logged in, if you go back to the main controller, is with this auth is logged in variable, right? So go ahead and copy that, and then make sure up here you pass in auth. So it's going to be auth. Then inside of the oops, I'm in the wrong area. It's actually up here. Inside the controller. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll say. We'll log to the console first, make sure this works. We'll paste that in there um, and see what we get. Okay, go ahead and hit refresh. Okay, and we're getting that true because the user is logged in. And then if we log out, and it changes to false, right? All right, so. So what we'll do is we'll have an if statement um, for two two situations. One is if the route says that authenticated is required and then the other one's going to be if it's not required so to put that okay so let's test this out and actually, I think I want to say the exclamation point goes here. So I'm just going to insert some console log to test this. Um, needs to be authenticated. Does not need to be authenticated. What I want to do is I'm going to change this because I just realized this probably isn't going to work. So what we'll do is we'll just change this to equals true and then equals false. Okay. Um, so go ahead and hit save, hit refresh. Um, so on the home page, it's not going to display anything in the console because we didn't configure that. Um, we could add a final else here that says, um, say else authentication does not matter. Okay, so now if we hit refresh on the ones that don't have that, we're going get to get that authentication does not matter. Then if we click login, should not be authenticated. Register, should not be authenticated. Let's log in and make sure we get it on the other pages as well. See, now it says authentication does not matter. And then if you go to profile, it needs to be authenticated. Okay. So now we can go ahead and continue to um, configure this uh, so if let's start off with if they need to be authenticated right so then what we'll use is that auth dot is logged in variable and so what we'll do is we'll say um, if not logged in um, we will do the following. And so what we can do is say event prevent default. That will prevent the user from going to that default route. So let's test this out. Go ahead and hit log out. And then we're going to go to the profile page. Okay, so see, it's not letting us go there now. And uh, I probably should have shown you before I added this in there, but if you hit refresh, you'll see. So you can go to it, but once you implement this prevent default, you can no longer go into it. 
Um, now the other problem is we don't really want to display an empty page like this so we'll just redirect them. Um, so we're going to add in location up here and we're going to go ahead and redirect them. So we'll say location path and send them back to the home page. Right? And then, oh also you have to pass this in up here to location okay and then hit save and let's see what happens when we refresh okay see so instead of displaying that empty window it, we go ahead and redirect the user okay so now we can move on to if they need to not be logged in um, and we'll basically do the same thing we'll say if auth is logged in then we will um, event prevent default location path and we'll send them to the profile page right so let's just comment out the location part really quick first because I want to make sure this works so go ahead and hit refresh and then log back in And then let's see the route we're testing this on will be, uh, we'll say register. Okay, so we're getting that empty window. So now we can go ahead and test the redirect. So go ahead and hit refresh. Oops, did I not pass in location? Oh, I misspelled it. Okay, and you should see the redirect there to the profile page, just like we specified. Um, we can delete this console log. Okay, and as for this this other one, it's not going to matter, like I said, uh, just for console log purposes, but you can go ahead and delete that. Because if none of these apply, then it doesn't really matter. So, so there you go. That's how you prevent uh, users from accessing pages that they're not authorized to view.